Sometimes it's good to have a refreshing shave. Other times, a cozy shave. Let's have a minty shave. Will it change your life? Let's find out. to Mr. Shaves. Today we're looking at the minty fresh shave just for you to blast through and start your day well. That's what I want for you and you want from me. So with that our tools will be obviously Osage rub but we will be using Taylor's of Old Bond Street Peppermint Shaving Cream. Peppermint even this, even that is blasting the screen. That's how minty it is. And for pre-shave, we'll be using Cedar and Sage by The Body Shop. Conditioning beard oil. Yeah, it's conditioning beard oil, but I'm going to use it for pre-shave oil. It does smell nice. And I'm going to be using a Body Shop Badger brush. Really cheap. It smells, so it's definitely Badger. I'm going to soak it actually. And I've got my new bowl because my other one was getting on my nerves. So I'm going to soak the brush in the water so it soaks and brings in all that moisture. And just for another kick of minty freshness, I'm going to, before I put on my Osage rub, I'm going to put on in my mouth Listerine just to blast off on all cylinders. And to finish off, why not some Hugo Boss? smelly stuff and I'm going to be using the personal barber razor this is like part of a subscription deal thing that uh, I got I'm gonna I haven't really tried this blade so I'm gonna use it it's a two-piece three-piece blade it's got a uh, Gillette seven o'clock blade in there it's fresh in and feels Solid, let's have a go. Oh, just in case that doesn't cut the mustard in terms of my corner, corners and edges, I've got my Laponics shave bed, just in case. <clears throat> so, let the shaving begin. So, first of all, let's put on that pre-shave oil. Let's turn it. For, oh, that. I'm not going to say lemony. That's definitely a woody, deeper smell. Wood. Leathery. What's it say? It's all in French. I don't understand. Cedar and sage. Definitely sage. And that's nice and thick. Oh, I would shave for a few days, so it's a bit crazy out there and I realise I'm going grey quite a lot on my beard bottom bit which is really annoying so there you go pre-shave oil done next the brush so peppermint shaving by Taylor Roll Bond Street they've been going for years and years and I've seen many of my other YouTube channels going there as like some sort of homage to the shop in Bond Street. Oh, that, that is minty. Proper minty, that is. My goodness. Right, let's pick some up. Pick some up with my brush. Tears about Bond Street tends to really lather quite a lot, so I don't need a load. Right. Let's go, let's do this. It's my first time using this bowl. I used to use the coffee cup, but it was just so boring. I had to change. But this one's good, I like this. It's got a kitsch. Kitsch? What is kitsch? There's a kitchen in about it. Look at that. That's proper. Tell you that you can never. You can always have confidence that Taylor's of Old Bond Street, their stuff will lather. Hmm. 
this brush is really good. I first time I'm using this body shot brush. It feels nice, smooth, it's hard enough to kind of push in to the beard. I've got it in my eye, great, minty eye. Mm. A minty shave is what I'm doing today, and the reason why is sometimes you feel sluggish. Sometimes getting up on a Monday is a nightmare. What can you do other than a coffee to wake yourself up? That you have to do. Changing your routine to incorporate invigorating ways. Right, put on that, then you smooth out any peaks, sort of. It's quite getting a lemon stuff everywhere. It's so minty it hurts your lips. Right, we're going to use this uh, personal barber. I've never used this, so let's have a go. You can feel the overhang on the sides, so be careful. It's not sharp, but you just be wary. It feels quite heavy, so let's have a go. What I want to do. Personal barber. Ooh. That's not bad. There's a load of hair, so it's got rid of all the kind of length. Seven o'clock braid by Gillette, holding its own. I've never really tried Gillette seven o'clock braids. That's all right. All right, here we go. We're now going to move into the sides. It's quite a thin head, if you look at it. So I'm hoping it can get underneath the nose. Some of these things that I've seen are like really thick. Mm. I'm liking this so far. Mind you, it's just first shaving. I need to feel what it's like. But... Mm. And that minty Taylor Bob Bond Street stuff is kind of permeating out. Just feel it kind of like a warm minty kind of fresh thing going on over the skin and this is really thin so it's really getting in getting in I'm, I'm here. it's good other side. Yeah. It's not too aggressive, although it's leaking. Well, that's round one. Now that's done a really good job. That is really. It's like. Um, let's do another pass and see if that clears it. But it may not. I'm ready for more mint. Are you? <laughs> when the weather gets like this outside, it's like a mist, bleak kind of element in the air. And uh, cold. Raining constantly. This is the first day it hasn't rained for ages. A man needs to motivate oneself to be the conqueror they are. And why not conquer with a shave of mint? Mm. 
The Shave Club, or whatever it's called, the, the Personal Barber is a prescription service. That send you replacements and you choose what you want. Oils. I'll put a link in my description. Hopefully they're still going, I don't know. But for a razor that you get as a starter, for a starter kit, this is good. It's clear, it's easy to use to, to steer around. You've got your license. And it feels, it's thin enough to kind of get, if you've got, if you're a bearded gentleman or lady, then you want to steer away from danger areas of like, you don't want to kind of trim off half your beard and look, and you think, what do I do? Faint down the other side so it looks balanced? I'm enjoying this shave. It's not, it's, it's no way aggressive. But it's not soft. I mean, it's pretty much, I'll have a look in a sec. Right. I mean, that's cleared it in two passes, pretty much. That's the blade, that's the Gillette 7 o'clock blade. I'm just going to have to. See what's going on on the top. I'm just going to use a bit of Need a bit of motivation here. Mm. My, Gillette, my Gillette Trap Boy is quite a thick head. You know, nothing compared to others, but. This one really gets in there. I'm still going to have to use the um, shave out, I think. Well, I'm going to do one more shave and then I'll finish up with the shave out. But so far, I'm impressed. That is really good. Look at that. Let's get on there. Going everywhere. Mm. Right. Yuck. Right. Okay, third time round. Easy. That's what you need. Everything gone. It's good. I'm liking this razor. Right now, the into inside what about you if you get those bits that are not shaveable you can just feel it you think oh I should have done that that's good right now for the tricky bit the top with my shave out, I tend to do this thing where, see, as a reference point, I use my nose. Uh, I have to clear 
some of the view. I'll do. So there you go, that is, that was, I really enjoyed that shade. So that's Taylor's Bob Bond Street, minty, warmth, fresh, coupled with the personal barber razor, which is a three piece, not adjustable, but it's set, I would say, at a slightly adjustable setting. What well, it is um, slightly aggressive, but not that. I mean, I have my Gillette Fat Boy on nine. That is smooth as a baby's bum. Right. So before I do the Osage rub, I'm going to mint it up with some Listerine. Listerine done. And that's the inside mint. Now for the outside mint. Massage rub. This is my. Oh. I'm breathing in mint. I'm wearing mint. I feel like I'm going to explode with mint. Oh, that is minty. I give in. I'm, I'm in love with mint. So to finish off, I think I'm going to try Boss Hugo Boss aftershave as a kind of aperitif or the whatever the opposite is. Because once you've had a good shave, you are the boss. I hope that was a fun minty enjoyable experience for you have a nice day and subscribe if you wish and um, i'll see you soon have a nice day and happy shaving